What's up, family? Welcome back to another awesome United We Move workout with me, Teddy Savage. Now, I'm super excited because today I'm going to be highlighting how you can get a total body experience from a seated position. That's right, baby. We don't have to be standing, running, or jumping to get those joints in gear, strengthen those muscles, and increase our heart rate. And here at Planet Fitness, your safety is our top priority. So our awesome team members are always working around the clock to get the gym cleaned and ready so you feel awesome about your fitness experience. And here at Planet Fitness, your fitness is essential. And we want you to believe it as well. Now, today's fitness experience is coming to you in our 30-minute express area, baby. And it's one of my personal favorites because you can get a total body workout in, you guessed it, just 30 minutes. It's super easy to follow because it works on a red light, green light system, and it's a numbered circuit, one through 20. It's gonna be half strength and half cardio. Now, today we'll be doing things a little differently, but when you get back in, I want you to do the entire circuit in numerical order. That way you get a total body experience. And speaking of total body, that's what we're all about today. We're gonna to break this thing down in three circuits, upper, core, and then lower. And we're gonna add some effectiveness with slight resistance using dumbbells or water bottles if you have them at your disposal. But if you're ready to get this party started, baby, let me hear you say, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby, that's right. All right, you ready to get cooking? Let's get started. And I'm gonna do everything from a seated position today, even a warm up and cool down. So the first stretch is gonna be an overhead stretch. So I want you to interlock your fingers, press them out towards the screen, and then raise them above your head. Really extending the arms out of sight and extending my chest pronounced towards the ceiling. Come on down, bring the hands back towards your chest, elbows parallel, push it out again. And again, get those hands out of sight. This is gonna to help to improve range of motion through our shoulders and really stress the abdominal chain and low back. From this position, come on back, bring it back in towards your chest and relax. Now let's work our way down the body. Slide up to the edge of your seat. If you're sitting down with me, we're gonna do a hip hinge into a toy soldier, all right? So I'll show you from a three quarter angle. We'll do a hip hinge, which is bringing our chest down towards the floor and then bring opposite hand to opposite foot. Reset and go again. Bringing my chest down towards the floor, coming back up to a nice, proud posture and then bring the opposite hand to opposite toe. Again, this is really good to start to engage my core, which wraps around my entire body. It's my abs, my obliques, and my low back. Hip hinge, good, keeping your back nice and straight. Let your eyes follow your movement and relax, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So now let's get a little bit of twisting in there. A little twist and shout, a little shake and bake, all right? So I want you to get those fingertips right here, elbows parallel to the ground. I want you to sit up nice and tall and now twist. And as you twist, I want you to pivot on that opposite foot. And when I say pivot, I want you to allow your heel to leave the ground while you keep the balls of your feet stationary. Good, we're twisting and my chest, shoulders, chin, and eyes are moving in synchrony. Good, that alleviates any stress or strain I add to my lower back. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, baby, we come to our last one. And it's an oldie but goodie, you guys know I love it, right? There's gonna be some dumbing jacks, but we'll do it from a seated position, so we call them seated jacks. So we'll be here, one, two, three, and four. Let's get it. One, two, three, and four. So this is gonna alleviate any impact to those lower body joints like my ankles, my knees, or my hips. While I'm still getting total body movement, I'm elevating my heart rate. This is important because heart health is key. Knowing your beats per minute, understanding your target heart rate are all essential to the wellness experience. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and relax. Give yourself a round of applause, baby, because we're about to have a great time and do a workout you can do from a seated position at home, at work, or in a gym. All right, so I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. Our first circuit is all about the upper body. So we're gonna do a front raise into a lateral raise. I'll bring my weight up to shoulder height, come on back down, and then lateral raise to the same height, same position. You guys come on in. And remember, if you don't have dumbbells at your disposal, I want you to use water bottles or canned goods or anything to add slight resistance. Good, chest up, chin up, eyes forward. You wanna feel this in those shoulders in different areas. As we go front raise, you'll feel it in the front of the shoulder muscle. As we go lateral raise, you'll feel it along the side. Good. Chest up, chin up, 
Eyes forward. 10 seconds. Last 10. Best 10. Finish strong. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Last rep. Get it up and relax, baby. Put those down real quick. Shake the shoulders out. Shake them out. Shake them out. Dance a little bit if you want to. Again, that burning sensation is just those muscles working. So don't be surprised by it. As a matter of fact, expect it. Our next one is for the biceps. We'll do hammer curls, okay? So let's pick our weights back up. Keeping those elbows into my side. I'm going to squeeze with my palms facing each other. This is called a neutral position. It's not only working my biceps, but also my forearms to improve my grip strength. I'll show you from the opposite side. Come up to 90 degrees and down. I'm squeezing that weight. Squeeze your water bottle and really engage the forearm. Keep your chest up, shoulders back. Mechanics are key, right? Breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Five, four, three. Two, last rep, best rep. Oh, baby, put them down, baby, put them down. Now, when you're thinking about grip strength and bicep strength, you should think about how it applies to functional movement. So when you're carrying those groceries or you're putting things up, maybe you're on the cupboard or maybe in your bedroom, you want to have nice, firm grip strength. So our next exercise is an overhead tricep extension. You only need one of your weights for this one. This is working the muscle that runs along the back of our arms. I want you to have your elbows alongside your head and keep them right there. We'll press the weight over top, but not rotate those elbows forward. I want you to keep them stationary as we extend up above our heads and make sure that we're getting mind-muscle connection to those triceps. Keep your chest up, keep your shoulders back, keep your eyes forward, baby. And most importantly, keep that smile on your face, right? Let's have some fun today. Good. Exhale as you press up. Inhale as you resist that weight coming right back down to the starting position and press up again. Good. When you feel that burn, just smile, baby, and say where you've been all my life. This is your muscles working, having a good time from a seated position, no matter if you're at work, at home, or at the gym. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, last rep, best rep, press it up, and come down. <laughs> Outstanding. And as we work triceps, that'll help to push things away from my body. So if you're pushing anything, if you're pressing anything, having strong triceps will aid in that functional movement. The next exercise is more of a pull. It's gonna be a reverse fly. So I want you to practice the mechanics first before we pick up those weights. All right, I'll show you from the shot. I want you to hinge those hips just like we did at the beginning. And we're gonna bring the weights apart while squeezing in between our shoulder blades, okay? Once you feel comfortable with the mechanics, go ahead and grab your weights and then we'll get cooking. So bring the waist underneath of your leg, bring them apart, squeezing at the top of the motion, really accentuating that stress, that good stress of the muscle in between your scapula or shoulder blades. Squeezing, this is a pull motion, which is opposed to what we just did before. That was a push. Good, I'll show you again from the side. Squeeze at the top, really accentuating the mind-muscle connection. I should feel this in my back muscles, that run along the top of my back, right? If you think it, you'll feel it. Three, two, one, and relax, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Shake them out, shake them out, roll those shoulders back into your back pocket. Remember, form and technique. Mechanics, then effort. Say it with me, form, then technique. Mechanics, then effort, that's right. Okay, so our next one is a chest exercise, so we go back to the push muscle group. We're gonna have our palms out, Right, and we'll go one across the body, two, and then both together. All right, once you get comfortable with the motion, let's go in and get some work in. Chest up, shoulders back, eyes forward, here we go. One, two, and then both of them together. Three, really squeezing in those pectoral muscles, right? Those are our chest muscles, good. And make sure you keep your palms up towards the sky, so that way you're really focusing on those chest muscles, and the muscles along the shoulders. Good, squeezing at the top. Really getting a good exercise from a seated position, maybe we don't have to jump around. We don't have to necessarily be standing for long periods of time to get a super effective workout. Here we go, last 10 seconds, best 10 seconds. I'm really feeling this one in my chest, in the front of my shoulders. Good, three, two, one, and put those down. Outstanding job. That was a total upper body circuit and guess what? I didn't need to stand up at all. And I'm still feeling it in these muscles from my torso and up. This next one is for my core, okay? So you don't necessarily need to have weights for this one. 
We'll start first with the seated bicycle crunch. So I want your fingertips right by your earlobes. We'll go opposite knee to opposite elbow. So here we go. Come on in with me, baby. We won't stop this shine, right? Smile, baby, keep going. So we're driving opposite knee to opposite elbow. This is really good because I'm not only working the abdominal chain, I'm also getting my hip flexors into the party as well. This is integral for any time that we drive, any time that we walk, any time that we climb stairs. This is really key. Good. Here we go. Exhale on effort. So as you squeeze, you should breathe out. As you reset, you should breathe in. Three, two, one, and relax. Outstanding. So this next one is going to be an overhead oblique exercise. So I want you to grab one of your water bottles or one of your weights. I want you to have them above your head. They should be out of sight, just like we did in that dynamic warm up. And this time I want you to go over top, reset, and come back. This is really good because it's now working my obliques or the muscles that run alongside my body. Really getting a good resistance and reaching as far as your range of motion will allow. Good. If you want to add a little bit of resistance to this motion, then bring that leg up, reset, bring that same leg up, reset. So we're really focusing on the obliques or those muscles that run alongside your body. Good. Outstanding effort, baby. Belly button to your spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, baby. And relax. Let's put this weight down. All right. So when we're working core, I really want you to focus on getting your belly button into your spine. That really means squeezing that core engagement, right? As we do any motion, whether it's bending, hinging, or pressing, I really want you to get that belly button to your spine. This next exercise is toy soldiers. So we'll be doing opposite hand to opposite foot. Again, just like we did in dynamic warmups. Three, two, one, let's go to work. Opposite hand, opposite foot. This is outstanding because even though I'm working my abs, I'm also getting a good dynamic stretch to my hamstrings, right? And this is proper blood flow. So it's not just about getting strong, it's also about offsetting injury, okay? That's what working out is all about. Let's offset injury, let's get stronger, let's feel better. Here we go. Your fitness is essential. So let's find mighty moments throughout our day to get these workouts in. Five, four, three, two, last rep, best rep, reach out, touch it, and relax, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And as you can see, some of our exercises look very similar to the dynamic stretches we did at the beginning. And it's so important to make sure you move your body in your warm up, similar to how you'll move it during your workout routine. That way you can do so more efficiently and more effectively. This next one again is for those obliques. So I want you to grab both of your water bottles or both of your weights. I want you to slide up to the edge of your chair and this one will just go down to the side, reset, come down to the side. These are called side bends, right? And any time that we have a weight that's going down along the lateral plane of our body, it's going to work the obliques. Good. We did the last oblique exercise as an overhead load. This one is the load alongside the body. Again, working the same muscle groups. Chest up, shoulders back, eyes forward. Now remember what we said, belly button to the spine. Five, four, three, two, last rep on that side, up and relax, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So this last one, we don't need weights at all. We'll go right into it. It's a reverse crunch. So I want you to have your hands right here on your chair. You drive those knees up towards your chest and extend out. Up towards your chest, extend out. For a modification, just go one leg at a time. Here we go, 40 seconds, we're into it, baby. Good, reverse crunches are great for those abdominal muscles right above the waistline. Good, drive up, extend out. Drive up and extend out. Even when I extend out, I'm engaging my core. My belly button is in tight to my spine. Drive that knee up, tap down on the ground for a modification. And even if you're modifying, baby, you're moving. You're grooving. So you won a day already. So smile, baby. Be victorious. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, last rep, best rep, oh baby. So now we got to hit lower body and then we cool this bad boy down. So this next one is simply a knee tuck just to start to engage range of motion through my hips, okay? So I was telling you in a three quarter angle, I just want you to drive, replace, drive, replace. Come on in, drive that knee up, replace. 
drive that knee up, replace. For an added level of difficulty, I want you to come up here, bring it down, but don't touch the ground, right? Just on one shot. Maybe do five reps on one leg, then reset, do five reps on the other leg. Good. That's just an added level of difficulty because now, instead of allowing that muscle to rest, we're keeping time under tension. Good. Here we go. Last 10. Best 10. Drive it up. Come on down. Drive it up. Reset it. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job. And again, you should start feeling these along those muscles in your lower half. I'm talking about your quads. I'm talking about your hamstrings, your glutes, and your calf muscle. All of the go muscles, baby. So the next one is a knee tuck into a leg extension. So we'll do that same mechanics and now extend at the top, bring it back in and come on down. Come on in with me. Drive the knee up, extend it out so it's parallel, back in and down. This is really good because it's now targeting this muscle here. This is called your quadricep that runs along your thigh. Good. Extend parallel to the floor, bring it back in and down. Drive it up, extend it out parallel, really feel it and reset. We got five seconds, five, four, Three, two, last rep. You gotta get an extra one there, baby. That one was for fun. That one's for you, my friend. All right, so now let's work on a little bit of abduction, adduction. So adduction is inner thigh. Abduction is outer hip, okay? So I want you to have your feet in close. We'll go outside, inside. Good, outside, inside. Come on in with me. Good, I want you to drive that leg up like you're stepping over an imaginary gate. All right, this is really good because as I do range of motion in a circumduction, that means I'm trying to trace in a circle, so to speak, I'm working on range of motion through my hips. And if you have tight hips, it sometimes leads to a tight back and improper posture. Good, drive up, over top, last rep on this right leg, baby, here we go. Finish strong and relax. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Breathe in and out, in and now uh, great job we got one more exercise and it's for the calves okay and this will help us to not only get stronger in our calf muscles but to also alleviate some of our falls that may lead to injury so i want you to have those weights or your water bottles right here on your thigh and simply come up on your calves and back down heels flat up on the balls of your feet down and you're working the calf muscle when you extend right and down good it's called a plantar flexion and down heels flat chest up shoulders back remember form mechanics technique then effort outstanding my muscle connection my calves run along the back of my legs behind my shin right up, up squeeze and down i'll show you from the side up squeeze and down notice i can work the calves and i don't need to be standing up at all five four up three Two, last rep, best rep, and relax, baby, let's put them down, let's put them down, great job, we're still here, we're locked in, we're loaded in, and guess what, we're having fun, but now it's time to cool it down, I know parting is sweet sorrow, right, but we gotta cool down just like we had to warm up, so this first stretch is gonna be a cross body, so I take my right hand, go across my body, take my left, and push it towards my body, this is really good, because it's stretching out my shoulder, right here and we used a lot of that as we were doing front raises lateral raises and that chest exercise where we brought that weight up good reset relax bring the opposite arm across and pull it towards your body in the comments i want you to know or i want to know what you guys felt was the favorite part of this seated experience okay was it upper was it core was it lower or did you enjoy the whole party baby go ahead and let me know so this next one is gonna be a tricep stretch. So I'll take my right hand, I'll put it behind my back, I'll take my opposite hand and pull. Now from here, I'll also tilt a bit and really increase the range of motion in the stretch. I'm stretching triceps and running alongside the body, right? Hold it, let it go, release. Opposite arm, take it behind your back, pull that elbow and then get a good tilt. Again, this is increasing the range of motion through the stretch that I'm feeling right here. Good. Hold it and relax. Now let's go to a glute stretch. I want you to take your right leg, place it across on top of your opposite leg. And I want you to take your hand and gently press down on top of your knee, gently. You should feel a stretch right here along the glute and abductor. 
Good push. Nice and small. A good stretch. Should have slight resistance, but not pain. Chest up. Breathe in. And up. Good. Let's go opposite leg. Gently place it over top of the opposite. Take your hand and press down gently on top of the knee. Again, feeling it in the glute and abductors running alongside the hip. Good. Chest up. Shoulders back. Eyes forward. Smiling big, baby. Right. Hold it. Hold it. And relax. Now let's do one more stretch. And this one is going to be for the hamstrings, okay? So I want you to straighten those legs out. Heels down. Toes up. What we'll do is reach down for the toes and try to grab them. Right? And pull them towards your body. You'll feel a stretch along the posterior chain. So hamstrings, calves, and maybe a little bit of the glutes as well. Hold. And tight hamstrings will definitely lead to improper posture. So if you feel like your lower back is strained, try to stretch those hamstrings out. Good. Three, two, one, and team. What an outstanding total body seated workout that gave us super effectiveness and did not require a lot of bounding, running, or jumping. And see, you really can get this workout in whether you're at home, in the gym, or at work. And I want you to remember, 2021 is all about getting those amazing bodies up and getting them in motion. And we'll be here to help you do just that. Just tune in Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Planet Fitness Facebook page for more ways to stay moving and motivated. And if you want even more content, make sure you download that free Planet Fitness app, right, for all of the content that we created just for you. Until next time, stand up, smile big, spread love. Peace.